All right, you guys. I am so excited for our companion this week. Welcome, Rick from the U.S. Hi. How are you all? We're good. How are you? Great. Perfect. We are very stoked to talk to you again. Um, We have already done this recording once, but, you know, it's fine. We love hearing these stories, and you have had several congratulations over the course of listening to this podcast, and usually I'll hear about them in my DMs, and I need you to tell our other companions what's been going on. Yeah, we're, we're kind of pals in the DMs. It's we're kind of nice. pals in the DMs, yeah. Yeah, I think the, the three things we talked about were my first time, mm-hmm. and then uh, my success with the Kiven method. Yes. And then uh, related to the podcast about weed and sex. Mm-hmm. So. so let's go with weed and sex first. No, it's not at the beginning. I don't want to start at the beginning because the first come didn't have to do with us. But I think it's interesting to start with the first one because it was a different sort of time mm. to see what like when he was 11, how it was then and then how the podcast taught him more stuff. Okay personally okay all right rick tell us about your first come pre how come my first time was when i was i'm pretty sure 11 Mm -hmm. when my parents were out of the house Mm -hmm. and i've got uh sisters but they're older so they were like gone to college already okay um before uh, before this happened and um what happened was my parents had one of those, you know, back massagers uh-huh. that had a number of different From attachments. like Sharper Image? No, this was before Sharper Image. This was way, I don't know where they would have gotten it, but it, it was one of those white handheld ones that had like different Like a Hitachi. Attachments. No, like uh, stubbier than that. Like, like you could hold, you held it in your hand like this. And then there was mm-hmm. like this dongle that came off the, the oh, front that vibrated. Oh, 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 and then yes, there okay. were several different attachments that you could put onto it. Okay. Okay. And one of the attachments happened to be a cup shaped one. Mm-hmm. And um, they were away for the night and I had uh, found, you know, and, and I'd use this massager for massaging purposes before mm-hmm. just, you know, on back or leg or whatever, mm-hmm. but um i guess one of them had been using it on their back or whatever and left it in the living room yeah and so i started you know messing around with it and happened to get it close to my you know crotchular area and Mm -hmm. felt that feels kind of good i mean i don't mind this i don't mind that so i kept kept it there and you know when you're 11 you start to get erections pretty easily and quickly Mm -hmm. and of course I'm alone in the house with a vibrating machine and bang, I've got this, you know, raging erection and I'm thinking, <laughs> well, they're not going to be coming back for two, three hours. So let's, you know, let's see what's, what's, what's up with this. So I kept mm-hmm. um, massaging myself with it. And then was I the just... cup suctioning the cup shape? No, but it was perfect enough that it fit right over the head. Okay. And so pants off and started doing it uh right on the head of the penis and it felt really good but it sounds it kept, really good it kept feeling like i had to pee so i mm-hmm. kept stopping oh. but and you know and this was you know 1981 so we didn't have like readily available porn mm-hmm. so so when you heard you know i, I think i understood that that men came but i really didn't understand what that meant right you know obviously it had something something to do with your penis yeah but i had never seen it happen before so after about the third or fourth time of thinking i'm gonna pee i thought maybe this is what it feels like when you're about to come so this is so crazy wait i can't believe i've never even realized that boys feel like they have to pee too or penis owners feel like they have to pee too mm-hmm. so i thought well let's just see where this goes. So I went and I got a towel and I, you know, folded it up. So it was a lot of padding and I sat down on it. The couch was like vinyl or something. I wasn't worried about, you know, permanently staining it or anything. Soiling it. Yes. Soiling it. And so I kept going and going and going and all of a sudden, boom, it was this explosion. Amazing. And it was the best thing I'd ever 
felt in my life up to that point at that time. Fun. And, you know, and after that, uh, that massager kind of made it sway into my room and never saw the light of day again to my parents. Did your or, parents ever wonder where it went? Like well, that's, that's the bad part. Okay. <laughs> so I, I had this, I had this thing for about a year. I think it was a year and a half. I had it in my room and I, I don't know whether they just thought, you know, they'd misplaced it or, mm-hmm. um, you know, knew I had it and were too embarrassed themselves to do anything about it. But uh, it was sometime, it was sometime the next year and I'd gone up to my room to go to sleep, but not as early as I usually did. But Mm -hmm. my plan was to have a little masturbation session first, then go to sleep. So I went up a little bit earlier and the parents are still awake and I'm in the middle of doing myself and my mom walks in no knock no nothing oh god yeah and, and so she was like that's mine that's mine <laughs> that really <laughs> yeah and so I was so embarrassed I stayed in my room for like a day and a half and then mm. she finally sent my dad up to talk to me and he was like you know it's okay what you're doing you know mm-hmm. we just would rather you do it where we don't know about it Mm-hmm. And I was like, I you didn't knock. Yeah, also, I was doing it way you wouldn't know about I was it. Doing yeah, it. you were in your room. So, did they ever you know, say anything about? Never, never said a word it about that belonging again. to them. Maybe? No. Do you suspect that's what they were using it for as well? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Was it they like m- were the been. heads like for either body part? Like Th- there was like a there was like a. Um, ball shaped one one that was like a uh, comb it had mm-hmm. like bristles mm-hmm. and then there was the cup shaped one and then there was sort of a, a bigger knobby one that was like for your back i think so mm-hmm. you know arguably it could have been for it could have been a used on anything it could have been for anything but i'm you know my parents did have sex and it probably was used on many things and uh yeah it's a family heirloom <laughs> yeah family but the, the bad part about that is that after they took it away i had to then figure out how to masturbate with my hand with your hand yeah and it took you know and and you carve a groove into yourself mm-hmm. over months of doing the same kind of thing yeah and it takes a while to figure out how to do it yourself but then i i, I would I, be I, devastated yeah and so it it took a good i don't know month or so for me to mm-hmm. figure out how to do it so that it i could just do it with my hand retrain Learn a new tennis grip. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's tough. But you got but through it. Got through it. Yeah. And now you have all these different ways to come and make come. Exactly. Uh, your congratulations after listening to the podcast. The first one that we spoke about was for another person, uh, not for yourself, but you yes. used one of our methods that we the... spoke about with Emily Morse. Yes. Uh and the it was Kiven it's method. called the Kiven method. And mm-hmm. if you all haven't tried this uh, with your female partners, you really, really need to do it because it's the best way to have oral sex with your f- female body part having uh, vulva wife, owning girlfriend, bay, v- vulva owning people because <laughs> it's eating pussy sideways. Mm-hmm. So what you do is you approach the vulva. From the side, you mm-hmm. need to put this hand. If I'm if I'm going if I was going across the body, I would mm-hmm. put this hand above uh, the vulva, like right above the clitoris, and sort of stretch the vagina, the stomach um, skin up. Yeah, up, and yep. then you engage your mouth and tongue over the vulva in a sideways sort of way. Mm -hmm. And then that leaves this hand with all these fingers and thumbs to go digitally penetrating. Mm -hmm. And it creates uh, the pull and scoop while you're licking the clit sideways instead of going up and down and straining your neck, like coming from below and being like right under our butthole. Like you are coming from the side, which is, (laughs) I think, more comfortable for the eater and the ED because like you could, I could literally be going down on somebody right here in this chair. Like yeah. 
that is very much more comfortable than like lying flat on your stomach and cricking your neck up between Agreed. two legs, having to hold those legs. Like, I don't remember who else. Oh, Maddie Smith said it in a TikTok recently that she didn't like having a lot of wind whooshing around her. And I was like, yes, I hate being out in the breeze. Like, this yeah. is one of those not out in the breeze moments. Yeah, you're kind of covered up with yeah. all the, my body parts or like all of your body parts. But each time we've done this, it's been like three to five minutes and yeah. boom. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. And then two minutes later, I get a message. That's like, we did it again. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag Kevin method. Yes. Hashtag Kevin method. When you, so your wife doesn't listen to the podcast, right? Correct. And uh, when you told her about like wanting to try it, was she like, oh my God, that sounds amazing. Or was it like, was she apprehensive about it? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I ever said, you know, I'm, I'm going to do the Kevin method on you. I think I just, True. I just did it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Word. I mean, oral's a, oral's a standard part of our practice, so. True. But that's, she she definitely digs it. That's awesome. But did she and comment then I, oh, and, on oh, it I, after? Was um, she like, oh, my God, that was different, or was it just like? I, d I asked her, did you like that one? She said, oh, yeah. Yeah. And then I told, then I told another male friend of mine mm -hmm. to do it to his wife, who's, you know, we're really good friends. And I was like, mm -hmm. you should be, you should be doing this to your wife because we're mm -hmm. all friends and she deserves this. And he did. And I got thumbs up from both of them also. Yay. Yes. Oh my God. Really paying it forward. Yeah. That's unreal. It's, it's weird. Men don't talk about stuff like that to each other. One time I remember I was with my, one of my brothers and one of our male cousins and my brother leans over to our cousin and he like said something and my cousin's like, okay. And I go, what did you just say to him? And he goes, oh, I just love eating pussy. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I remember like both of us were like, ew, like that's such like a weird thing to love doing. Cause like at the time it wasn't like respectable like I just I don't know I came of age in a time where it was like only like cucks and losers uh did really? that and that it was gross yeah what was it like did you guys talk about it growing I up don't, I don't remember that at all no I mean I'm pretty sure every well let me try to think I think in my friend group in my friend group I was the first guy to get with the girl mm -hmm. um and we definitely did that. And I'm pretty sure I bragged about it probably. Mm. And I don't remember it ever being like, Hey, you're stupid for doing that. Or you're a you know, simp. <laughs> you're a simp. I don't know when it became unfashionable to be nice to women. That's, yeah. That's weird. Yeah. I mean, you know, I was, I was, you know, 16 in 1986. And if, of course the only you know, the only, the only representation in, in media of teenage sex back then was, was, you know, movies karate kid. and, and yeah, <laughs> karate, karate kid, sweep the leg. Yeah. Um, but, yeah no, I'm, I'm thinking of things like, you know, uh, fast times, Ridgemont mm -hmm. high, which, yes. you know, isn't great sex. No, or, it's horrible um, sex. Porkies. Yeah. Things like that, you know? Yeah. Where, where, you know, it's real ob objectifying and, and, you know, I've gone back and you and watched some of those movies and it's like, oh, it's very cringy. Yeah. Fast even, times, even, it makes you think that that's like normal, even though you're sad watching the sex in it. You're like, well, yeah. maybe this is just what happens in high school. You know, what was unexpectedly cringy was uh, Meatballs. I never saw that. That's a, a Bill Murray. He's a camp counselor and... Um, he he's you know he's like it's like mash but it at a uh, uh, kids camp kids summer camp you know, okay. it's like goofy camp counselors funny mm -hmm. kids yada mm -hmm. yada yada but you know he's like picking one of the other camp counselors up you know and putting her over his shoulder and slapping her on the ass and you know and it's the way she's acting in the movie it's clear she doesn't like it right and you know and it it's very cringy now yeah to watch yeah. that revenge of the nerds that also 
like there's like a full rape scene in it where he's like pretending to be this girl's boyfriend because right. he's got the helmet on and he's having sex with her and then yeah she takes the helmet off and she realizes it's not her boyfriend but she's like oh this is still cool like which wouldn't happen in real life you'd be like no right. that's fucking rape like but <laughs> anyway um yeah. in happier things we have another congratulations yeah um, the th- that you accomplished you, you had the 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 weed and sex episode and yeah. i listened to it and then i remembered hey i've got some weed that i haven't mm-hmm. i haven't smoked for a while and you know i'm very stressed and I, when, when was that back in november or october mm. some some something sometime around there that i was Time i was is very a circle now i was very deep into whatever i was whatever i was doing i was very deep into something heavy at work Mm-hmm. And I was very stressed. I didn't like staying up late. And it was one of those where you're so worried about it. You're waking up at two o'clock in the morning yeah. type thing. Yeah. And so, uh, and do not. Envy. And, yeah. And so I was like, you know, the last time I had sex when I was high felt really good. So mm-hmm. I decided I'm going to get a little high. So I went out in the backyard, smoked a couple of uh, puffs of this, weed that I had and I came back inside and didn't have sex with my wife but I had uh bedroom was all mine that night and Mm -hmm. so I uh got out my uh male masturbation toy and uh, do do you want me to show you please all right hold on one sec we love show and tell here on how come I'm not gonna lie it feels like I'm having a chat with like I don't know it just feels like so normal yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Here we go. He's our friend. <laughs> yeah. This is. He's our friend. Comes in a in this nice package. Uh huh. And looks like here a it is. pill. In a. But of course, cylinder. there's a. There's oh, a whole... cool. Now the cool thing about this it is. It looks like a silicone pill. Yes. Okay. This this then this is what keeps it together. Flat thing that comes out. Uh-huh. And, the, and the reason for that is, you nice. can pop it apart. And clean it. And make it so you can clean it, which is very important for one of these cool. things. Yeah. It's got some little you, like this is much more it. attractive yeah. than a fleshlight. It is. Yeah, yeah very, this doesn't yeah. feel gross to look at at all. I'm so <laughs> pleased. And I also feel like you could like leave that out and it's not like, oh, that's a sex toy. Yeah, you think yeah, it's yeah, like, but a, even if, like, like a speaker or something. It looks yeah, it looks like a little beat pill. Yeah. Yeah. So, but anyway, um, this feels really good if you've got a, a penis to put into. If you it. got a peener wiener, and then you yep. got some weed. Exactly. And, and together. I, I had one of the most amazing orgasms I've had in a long time. Like, so fun. Like 15, 20 seconds long worth. Cool. Yeah. I love that. It was. I might do that again tonight. Yeah. Why not? Why not? So cool, so fun. Um, so, so glad that that you did that. Had you ever used weed before to like enhance sexual pleasure? Uh, not on purpose. It's, not it on was purpose. like you know I was already high and I'm like oh, let's let's see you know how this goes. So only only a maybe once or twice in the past and, and not even and it wasn't even that uh, remarkable or memorable that I mm-hmm. recall. Mm-hmm. I'm a very occasional user so it's yeah it's not something i, I find myself doing very often Besides, but maybe i should i don't know um, <laughs> feeling like harder and longer did it feel any different than a normal orgasm um it it was like kind of in waves mm-hmm. like like there were cool. like there were um I don't know it it you know there there when when you're ejaculating there's only so many spurts that you're going to have but yeah. these felt very strong and very um like there were many many more of them than I would have normally had. Mhm. Cool. That sounds like a very vulval orgasm. So, <laughs> so weed and weed and orgasm definitely a fun thing. I mean, I yeah, it. it makes sense. It increases the blood flow. Yeah. You know, I don't think men and women are that different with regard to our either. feeling. It, it would it would be super fun to be able to swap for a week. Totally. You know? Totally. 
That's what I always say about like Harry Potter and Polyjuice Potion. I'm like, uh, the first thing I do is like jack off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's fun. But, you know, I, I, my guess is that after we did that, we would both then choose to go back to what we previously had. Maybe, but there, I feel like there are toys that can make you feel the experience of the genitals that you don't have. Like I definitely, when I'm using like an air pulse arouser, like feel oh, yeah. like I'm having oh, that's a true. wank, you know? And you know, like, I was, I, yeah. I was using a suction method long before I heard about suction vibrators. Cool. And that, that's something I've been doing oh, for, with your mouth. <laughs> yeah. For years. Yeah. yeah. Or I was I, like, I, like small vacuum. Yeah, I did it. I did it to this one girl way back when, and she like told her friend who was a friend of me, and the friend like called me and she's like, "What did you do to her?" Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "Well, let me let me draw you a picture. I can kind of explain. It's because it's like it's kind of like it, it's like you take one of those small water balloons and you mm-hmm. fill it up with just enough water to make it stiff." And mm-hmm. then it, you, if you put the, just the tip in your mouth and sort of suck in, you're sort of sucking that little tip in and making it grow and shrink. And that's mm-hmm. what I've always imagined I'm doing when I'm that's doing oil that way. That's a good description. I feel like I the, the tips that I heard about oral were like first from like Seinfeld. And it was like these like weird things where it would be like, oh, the swirl and the twist or whatever. And, and, <laughs> but they wouldn't like elaborate. And so you're thinking like there's some fucking weird shit going on down there and if yeah. if people had just explained the suck that would have been exactly. a lot better because i think thing we heard at school was like all the guys are like no 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 you just do the do the alphabet yeah which, that one too yeah. which is like what are you fucking talking about Ow. like unless yes. it's like c c c yeah. c sam Tennyson <laughs> had a whole bit about that <laughs> really <laughs> lots of mr t <laughs> I'm Mr. T up in that. Yeah. So everybody's tongues are moving around right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, how do you draw the T? I've been doing that for, for a long, long time. I, I forget where I even thought of doing it that way. But it, it. But when I heard there are, you know, vibrators that do that, I was like, that's exactly what they should have been doing all along. I know. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. And I, 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 I do think there is some like, unlearning of like masculinity where like some says men straight says men might find it like like sucking a dick to suck a clit you know it's so silly and yeah it's so like like chill it's like you know it's like <laughs> it's like anal for guys it's like if if, if you're yeah, female if, good, if, do you're, it. if your female partner is doing something to you anally that's somehow gay that's the stupidest thing ever yeah and also like <laughs> Even if it was, get over it. Well, exactly. no, maybe that's too far. But yeah, um, if if it feels good, do it. But it feels like we're in a different a different era, a different time. Things like feels like things are opening up for better, further, more robust expression of people's sexual so. desires and I hope so. preferences. But again, we do go. We have these ebbs and flows where it's like you grew up and everybody was like yeah going down on women and then I grew up and it was like that's fucking weird you know like so we hope that my timeline did not does not come back I would have thought New York City was like wide open as lots of blowing guys um lots of butt sex that you found out about lots of fingering anything where like a guy could like it it all was very like uh making the woman less than like nobody was having doggy uh, style sex to for her pleasure it was all um it was somehow degrading degrading yeah hmm. yeah at least most of the sex Weird. that i heard about and was talked about um i'm sure there were loving couples and experimenting youths that were nice to each other but what seemed to be like the consistent I only had one girlfriend in high school, but we were gr- boyfriend girlfriend for, for most of high school, mm-hmm. and you know, and we were our we were the our first everything's to each other, mm-hmm. and and for me, it was always about making sure that she finished first yeah. before I ever you know approached orgasm. 
That's great. Did you ever tell her about your first experience with toys? I don't know if I did. Hmm. Maybe. But, but it started, hasn't... let's see. She and I started going out when I was 16, 15 or 16. Mm-hmm. So that would have been a number of years after. I, I don't know. We, we were pretty open talking about stuff. So maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, I One of the, the things I did for her um, was I offered to let her watch me masturbate. And Ooh. she was like super excited for that. I've so. always wanted to watch Ben do it. Uh, and I forget where I even came up with the idea, but we were just, we were talking one night, I think about fantasies or something. And I was, I was like, well, would you want to watch me jerk off? And she was like, yes, <laughs> we, we actually went out to my car that was parked out on the, the street. And it was, it was late, at, late enough at night that, you know, nobody was going to walk by or anything. And so I, I masturbated in my car for her. I love she, that. she super dug that. I love that. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um well so Another. has it it's always been easy for you to bring toys into the bedroom and talk about it i think so we've we've got a variety of um you know vibrators mm-hmm. um i've had uh vibrating uh, uh cock rings mm-hmm. um we've done uh, pegging because i like the the girl on boy anal mm-hmm. and we started doing that probably 10 years ago maybe yeah cool. probably and so we've got a, a harness and strap on uh, for that mm-hmm. and that's that's fun did you pick it together and, no i i got it and uh, but she trusted me i guess to buy the correct thing mm-hmm. the first the first one i got was a really uh, a bad jelly one mm-hmm. you know they're not not silicone the old uh was P- phb P- whatever the the bad material that is okay. not good for your body okay yeah yeah I and remember. We, that i'm feeling that BPA, was the first but... time and so i kind of i kind of sprung down on her one night when we were having a really hot session mm-hmm. and but it, it had been one of her fantasies and mm-hmm. so she was totally down with it cool. and nice. and so she she did me pretty good and that was that was one of the more amazing orgasms i've ever had too unreal yeah when you're getting pegged do you like having your front stimulated or like your balls or anything or just like hands free uh no i need some stimulation cool i like i like being on my back with her in front of me because it's 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 oh, it's cool. very yeah it's very um the 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 gender swap thing yeah. is very trippy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had this, you know, girl with the fake penis but nice tits. Mm-hmm. You know, all the fun so, stuff, and then your all legs the fun are stuff. up around your ears, and you're like, oh my god, I didn't know that this could happen to me. Yeah. So being being and being the penetrated one mm-hmm. changes your perspective on the whole sex thing. I think because mm-hmm. it gives you a, a good understanding of um, what what that means and that there needs to be some consideration of the person on the bottom Yeah, a little uh slowness a little bit of lube yeah. maybe i love that great yeah. takeaways as always rick <laughs> <laughs> um i am so glad that you were always willing to talk to us and congratulations again on all of your sexual feats and accomplishments thank you congratulations um, to you on getting out of your rut recently thank you makes you really like value the ones like I think I was trying starting to take my orgasms for granted and now I have to like treat myself a little better a again tolerance break yeah a little tolerance yeah. break did you figure out what what was causing it or I think I'm just like stressed and crazy yeah well like yeah like everybody COVID. this would be the perfect opportunity for you to peg your boyfriend because if you're not doing it if, if it's not working mm. for you mm. maybe you flip the script with him and see if that does it for either of you and maybe it does we so you get- oh ben oh ben make me a sandwich and get your butt out rick says that we go. have to try this <laughs> yeah who is rick and why is he doing this to me <laughs> it doesn't matter but he said so we're doing it okay
we'll see if he's comfortable then i'm down but i love that you guys had already talked about it being a fantasy of hers so like you sprung it on her but not exactly like there was some ground i I bought it and you know i kind of kept it in reserve until the right time and Mm -hmm. and it was the right time i was like i happen to have a surprise for you if you're in if you're interested and she's like oh my god (laughs) yeah very interested Unreal. That was that was a that was a wild night. <sighs> if this were a TV show, we would flash back. <laughs> 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 um, well, Rick, thank you again for coming on here and talking to us. We really appreciate it. Um, well, thank you. Of course, congratulations again. And I do have to ask you this, as I have to ask everyone after a sexual experience, and this has been so sexual, um, Rick. <laughs> Did you finish? Absolutely. Amazing. Yeah. Did you? I did. Thank you for asking. Um, Robin, did you? Of course. This was the best. Awesome. It's been it's an international finishing. It, it really is. Anyway, your show your show is awesome. You're doing you're doing the work of the Lord. Thank making you. Making people come. You're doing the work great. of the Lord by telling your friends to suck their wives' clits. Like <laughs> Yes. That is a ambassador if I've ever seen one. Um, Very awesome. Rick, thank you so much for coming. Glad glad to be had. And uh, you guys get ready for the rest of the episode. <laughs> I am going to ask Ben if I can peg him and if he will jack off in front of me in a car after these messages. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear from little Ben now. Hello, everybody. I am sitting here with Ben DeMarco. Hello, everyone. Ben, can I peg you? Um, yeah, we could. Pro- you could probably try that after we move out of my parents' house. Okay, can you jack off in front of me in a car? In a car? <laughs> yeah, that's what our companion said. He did with his girlfriend in high school. Yeah, I'll jack. I'll jack off in front of you wherever, dude. <laughs> Okay, amazing. Congratulations to me. On this, the week of our anniversary. (laughs) Oh, congratulations to us. It's been a year that we've been living together unintentionally. Yes, we never planned to move in together, but... This, it's been nice. This pandemic's been nice. I'm very grateful to have had you throughout this entire pandemic, Remy. Me too. I'm very grateful, Ben, and to have had your parents. Thank you for loaning yeah, them to really me. Yeah, I didn't really intend on when when we moved in together if <laughs> to have <laughs> our parents, your parents have my parents be there. But I mean, yeah, it's nice having Jane cooking delicious dinners and mm-hmm. and uh, you know showing us the couple that we want to be. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Kind of. They're so great. Yeah, they're great. Even when you steal their lube. Uh, oh, and man. it was a nice One way time, to ease into um, living with each I other. Was, like I was a young very boy low and I was pressure. Uh, yeah, you know, it was like to, uh, masturbate. a weird yeah, situation. Kind of, like yeah. I've always been very like hesitant about living with a man. Yeah. And like we've like literally never discussed it. Like I right. feel like pre pandemic we were always like Oh yeah, no, we love having our own apartment. Yeah, pre- like, I mean, ide- like ideally in my like brain, we like couples should always have two places. Yeah, yeah. Like th- that they have together. But like it's but but, but you can go you can somewhere go s- else. You can go somewhere else. Like, yeah. Yeah. Right. So a lot of a lot of couples have like two. Yeah, and like, we were like, yeah, we we have a long distance relationship between New York and Jersey. We got yeah. two houses in two states. But then I don't have my house in New York anymore. Right. So when we go back to New York, you'll probably, we'll probably just come on move and move in. in, move in downstairs w- in Jersey, or yeah, yeah, or I don't know, like like you said, you can always try to find another space. I could or, always move out, yeah, but yeah. yeah, at this point, we're thinking it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So weird. Yeah. So Crazy weird. cool. Yeah, it'll be fun. Um, but to celebrate. Our little congratulations <laughs> of living for a year together unintentionally. Mm-hmm. We thought we would go through um, some big moments of this year um, and just talk when, about like since we got here since March. Yeah, since yeah. We so got here. March 2020 to March 2021, all of the news items that have happened, and can't believe this was all this year. Like I feel like this year has been like seven years in one yeah it's been a lot so we arrived in portland on march 4th correct on march 9th the stock market crashed 
I don't remember that happening, but nope, apparently GameStop was not a yeah, thing yet. Yeah, we weren't so paying attention. I was not paying attention. <laughs> now we're all about it. Um, GME for life. But apparently, the coronavirus pandemic around the world triggered a global recession as numerous countries went into lockdown. We oh wait, no, we do. No, we remember. I do remember the stock you market do? crashing. Yeah, because re- remember, like everything went airlines. Yes. Everything, yeah, 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 yeah. Everything just tanked. I do ships. remember that. All sorts of stuff. Yeah. Then, and and the U.S. wasn't taking COVID seriously at that point. We were just like, oh, like it's just happening we're in s- Italy. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. Um, but then Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson got diagnosed with COVID when they were in Australia March 11th. And that was like, it just kicked off everything. The NBA suspended their season March 11th. Um, then the Olympics got postponed March 24th. Um, then Bernie Sanders dropped out of the presidential race April 8th. I can't believe that was this year. Yeah. Like what? What, like the presidential election? No, but like that Bernie was even still an option in March. Yeah. Um, the DNC is <laughs> shady. Bernie should have been. I can't get it any closer. No, I'll I know. hit myself in my teeth. I know, but you're putting it like right here instead. Well, all right. April 27th, Kim Jong-un, there were rumors that he died. Remember that? Yeah, these aren't very good. April 29th, the Pentagon released videos of possible UFOs. It was unclear what the objects really were. Did you watch those videos? You did. I sure did. But I had already seen them. They like... They they didn't really release. It wasn't new stuff. No, it wasn't new. <laughs> they, they released new st- like they declassified a bunch of information. But the videos that like everyone that that's referencing, mm-hmm. those videos had been released prior to that, hmm. and I was all over that. Yeah, well, but you're that. real deep into. Yeah, anytime any UFO anything shows up, there's this guy <laughs> <laughs> that I went to high school with named Andrew. And he, uh, he's my source for all alien everything, like on Facebook. I'll, whatever shout out posts. to Andrew. Yeah, Thank shout you. Shout out, Andrew. You're always posting some dank alien information. Mm-hmm. Then, May 4th, murder hornets arrive in the U.S. Uh, I never took the time to learn what they were. I don't even, <laughs> th- like, I'm skeptical about that. I didn't see no murder hornets. So, if I can't see it, smell it, taste it get stung by it Mm -hmm. i don't i don't know about that all that i don't know about where are they now yeah exactly like i don't know how much of a real threat murder hornets were when we think about all the other shit that was going on Mm -hmm. this year like murder hornets not a real thing yeah and then we got into serious shit ahmaud arbery was shot oh god so terrible horrible um and (sighs) then george floyd was killed may 25th and that uh, caused an uproar with protests popping up worldwide. Um, very memorable, very important. Um, got people more involved yeah, recently well, remember, than they yeah. had been involved in a really long time. I re- yeah, well, I remember when um, the news of George Floyd came out and y- we saw the video and mm-hmm. uh, you, uh, you and I were in the car smoking and we had this like kind of like an aha moment of just being like this is completely different like this is this is different this time Mm -hmm. somehow i don't know what it was but like we uh, like you could feel it Mm -hmm. before there was even national outrage global outrage yeah before like that even came to a head yeah like i felt you and i like i mean there was this it was just so d- different. And I can't really put my finger on what's so different about it. You watched somebody die? Yeah, but I watched Ahmaud Arbery get, get... I mean, I, I remember feeling that way when Eric Garner was right. I mean, strangled I've just, to death. Yeah, I've seen... Right, right, right. But n- but no, not the same. But like, there was something about this specific one where I, where I... There was an energy or, like, I just felt like a whole... Like, what this is... There wasn't anything to do besides reckon with that it was happening. Right. You know, like, you couldn't go to a party, you couldn't go to a show, you couldn't just, like, go distract yourself. Right. I'm just I'm just trying to think of what, why, particularly, I guess for me, mm-hmm. why it was so different. Because it's kind of like where we had gotten to, as a society before the pandemic, 
you know, it was a school shooting a fucking day. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, an unarmed black guy getting killed every day. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, we were just so numb to it. It was like, but for whatever reason, like, yeah, like you said, maybe it was the fact that it was so long, you know, it was nine minutes of the video and you're just like, Jesus. But like, yeah, there was definitely something where it was like, this is going to be a huge, huge thing. Well, that's what's interesting, too, is like the pandemic did decrease shootings school shootings at oh, least yeah, yeah. you know so like it it was more important like you didn't just lose 58 people at pulse right. nightclub the night before or right, something right, like right. that um and yeah people started taking things more seriously um there was uproar about rayshard brooks brianna taylor brianna taylor still doesn't have justice that just baffles me yeah i don't understand um, and, and, and apparently they're not like reopening it or anything. Nope. Like. Um, so it's like it's weird because like we're like, oh, we made so much progress of people like caring again. But then how much progress has been made? There's not, like, there's not a whole lot of pro- it's all progress and it's, it's all fake progress. It's all, you know. Let's let's you know fake put, activism. Let, no, let's put yeah, let's put Black Lives Matter on the on the NFL fields, mm-hmm. even though the NFL won't hire Colin Kaepernick back. Yeah, even though the NFL completely were against Black Lives Matter the entire yeah. time. It's all just like trying to, to do the minimalist thing yeah. to appease, yeah, to make it look like you're doing stuff. It's like I, I forget a hilarious com- comedian Eagle Wit actually posted something today where he was like. Day? Yeah, he was like, "You guys, you you all canceled Pepe Le Pew, but but George um, Zimmerman is still selling hoodies." Is he? Yeah, George Zimmerman, you know, is signing packs of Skittles and is selling hoodies. What the fu- uh, Remind w- everybody who George Zimmerman is. George Zimmerman is, you know, he shot the kid with the bag of Skittles. Trayvon Martin, who was a child. Right, and he said, "Yeah," and so it's all it's all like, yeah. It's all just like minis- min- minim- minimal uh, pr- progress. Yeah. It's minimal progress. Yeah. Is rain. that rain? Is that rain going to screw up the sound or is it cool? No, it's cool. I think. We're recording in the car, you guys. Yeah, that's been something new about this year. Because I, I can't seem to do this podcast unless I lived with a geriatric person. <laughs> like, I literally have never done a season. My aren't geriatric. What? They're in their <laughs> 70s. Nanny was in her 80s. Like, they're 10 years apart. But th- that's not what geriatric means. What is it? geriatric? <laughs> this means know. old. Google it. I don't think that's what it means. Like when I think like geriatric, if I think they it's got like the immobile. shot because they're seniors, they're like fucking immobile. geriatric. Nah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there at the top. Yeah, relating to old people, especially with regard to their health care, a geriatric hospital. Old. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot record how come unless I have an old person in proximity. Right. But when we want to come do these little secrets and we want to smoke and stuff, we record in the car. Yeah. So fun. Anyway, you guys might hear some rain. <laughs> uh uh-uh. <laughs> we d- We're in Oregon training. <laughs> boop, boop. Does Jane love Oregon because it reminds her of, like, England? I don't think it's anything like England. Okay. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> of the rain? I guess they're both, like, wet, but I don't know. What else happened? Then, some Confederate statues started coming down early July. That's good. But again, like, kind of bare minimum. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that was like their biggest thing on Southern Charm was taking down a statue. Yeah. But it was like, you also like used a monkey emoji against a black woman, Catherine. Right. You weren't paying attention. All you care about in that show is Pringle. No, I love me some Pringle. <laughs> <laughs> Um, July. But se- oh. Catherine's dating a black guy now, so she's cool. Catherine's dating a black guy whose family was owned by the other guy that she has children with. <laughs> by what's his face? By Tom? Thomas Ravenel. Oh my god! Her new boyfriend's last name is Ravenel with two L's. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's the most fucked up thing I've ever heard. Oh my god! I didn't know any of that. Yeah. Ugh. Bravo. Oh, bravo, bravo, bravo. To quote Denise Richards. Do you know that? No. 
whenever she wanted to say something at a dinner or she didn't want anything on camera, she would go, bravo, bravo, motherfucking bravo, because she heard if you said bravo, they had to cut it out. <sighs> Hilarious. And they left it in. I do think she hooked up with Brandy Glanville, I will say. I don't know who that is. It's okay. Um, July 2nd, British socialite Ghislaine Maxwell was arrested by the FBI at a remote property in New Hampshire. You remember Ghislaine? Is that how you say it? Ghislaine. Yeah. I've been s- that is not what I've been saying. Yeah, I initially read it Jizz Lane, and I was like, that is too perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look at it. I don't know how I would even pronounce it. Yeah. Ghislaine. I'd, I'd announce it Giz Lane. Ghislaine. 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 Gillian. Anyway, she was... Uh, yeah, what's going on with that? Is there any news on that? I don't no, know, no. but she now, she now faces multiple charges related to the sex abuse of young women and girls by Epstein, accused of helping to recruit, train, and traffic the young women. Where'd she, where's she at? Where'd she go? They I arrested her, and now jail. we're just like chilling know. on it? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know who else was friends with Epstein, and we like don't give a fuck, is the British royals. We'll yeah. talk about that later and in the Donald year. And Donald Scrump, man. And Donald Scrump. Um, NBA returns with a miraculous bubble July 7th. Oh, man. That yeah. was fun for you That all. was fun for me yeah. and, and my, my guy friends cause, and, and my lady friends that like like sports and my guy friends. Yeah, Jane, Ben's mom, likes basketball so much <laughs> that we watched college basketball instead of the Meghan Markle, Harry, Oprah interview. And she, she, likes, she likes anything Oregon or Portland. I was so like, but Jane, it's British. And she's like, it's fine. It's recording. It's recording. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, when that bubble came, man, that was great because um, we were, you know, they, all the sports went away, and, and then the they only came thing back. that no, and then the only thing that was on, <laughs> no. or the only thing that you could like even watch on the internet was was Russian ping pong, <laughs> which was just <laughs> like or like Tiger King. Oh, I feel like shit. Tiger King. Is that d- not on that list? It's not on the that list. Should be on the list. Yeah, no. There's a lot of TV stuff that like we went through. Like that Tiger like King important. feels like it was like seven years ago, but yeah. like, yeah, that Tiger happened, King. and I feel like people watched it a lot more because there was no sports. So they were right. like, why not watch this Tiger training? Husband abusing psychopath. That show had death. everything, man. There was a death. murder. Yeah, like there was <laughs> lots of death. There was murder. There was there was cat suicide. There was, uh, yeah, big old cats. Big cats. Um, then there is the Beirut explosion, August fourth. Um, then there were the West Coast wildfires that's, in mid August. That up. was fucking nuts. I was stuck in L.A. You yeah, were Ray, here with Ray were, and Jane. Yeah. You and, guys had, like, the uh, longest car ride through fire. Well, yeah, we you left for your birthday. To no, go. I went for work, but oh, yeah, I ended up went, having sorry, to yeah. stay through my birthday because of the fires. Yeah, you left um, for to do some work, and then um, uh, you were supposed to be back for your birthday. We'd gotten this... <laughs> we, me and my parents had rented this nice cabin in the woods for me um, <laughs> no. and not for i mean like they wanted you to see it we ended yeah. up going later when you got back but uh, it's lucky you didn't come back because as we <laughs> were in the cabin in the woods uh that's when these massive wildfires started mm-hmm. um all throughout oregon and um yeah we uh we ended up getting rerouted and evacuated and um it was a whole whole mess and man never seen anything like it those you couldn't mm-hmm. get back in because of the the airports shut down yep. there was too to, there was no visibility but i was in la and i got to stay with tim and his new boyfriend clayton and their dog apollo yeah, you, and it you was were nice there having a great time friend bonding time because yeah. i hadn't seen any friends or whatever in like months yeah and yeah you guys remember tim he was on an episode first season i believe um but yeah then i made it back and um <laughs> oh yeah, then there were protests still. Um that little seventeen year old white psycho Kyle Rittenhouse uh went from Illinois and shot three protesters, killing two of them armed, allegedly illegally, with an AR fifteen style rifle, purchased with money from his coronavirus stimulus check. Apparently, he now faces felony homicide and attempted homicide charges, among other counts. Good. Yeah. Good riddance. Good, Good riddance, Kyle Rittenhouse. A little sh- shithead. A little shittenhouse. 
Um, then Chadwick Go- Boseman died August 28th of colon cancer. It was shocking. It was so sad. Yeah. Um, and then a lot of people used it as like reasons why you should care about them. They were like, never, never um, be mean to someone because you never know their struggle. I hate when people do that. I hate when people do that. It's like you are not Chadwick Boseman yeah, dying or of cancer. Yeah, or it's either that or it's like a comic that would be like Chadwick Boseman. They somehow turn it into a post. He was about a like great guy. Show. And yeah. like one and time he, he said I was funny and, and never he, give up. Yeah, <laughs> never give up. By the way, I'm playing Bananas Comedy Club in Jersey. Chadwick Boseman was a great guy, but he was flawed. And this is why I cheated on my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Lol. Oh my god. Okay. That was about Martin Luther King though. So I know. It? Oh god. <laughs> some, some comic was oh like god. Martin Luther King was a great was man. But he was flawed. But he was flawed. And so and am he, I. And he cheats on his on his wife. And I did too. <laughs> and I did too. <laughs> and then I gave all the other comics <laughs> corona. <laughs> Then the coronavirus death toll reached 200,000 people. I remember that number. That number was crazy. It is now at 500,000. Trump change. I mean, but at the time it was like, wow, it's real. I mean, now yeah. it's like it'll be 3 million people before anyone's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. Anyway, then Ruth Bader Ginsburg died. Bow, bow, bow. Ooh, fucking 2020. Fucking 2020. <laughs> she had been a justice on the Supreme Court since 1993 when dear Charlotte Casimir was born. Um, she was nominated by then President Bill Clinton. Um, sad. Sad that RBG is gone. I hope we get another one soon. Then we got some exciting news. Trump what was it? Trump tested positive for COVID-19 <laughs> on October 2nd. After he was flaunting that it wasn't real for yes. so long and not to wear masks. Yes, and we all got so excited and we were like, oh, maybe he'll take it seriously or even beep and um, Fucking didn't, die. didn't do either <laughs> of those things. And yeah, whatever. Moving on. Then Eddie Van Halen died. I don't know how this made the list. <laughs> Oh, shit. Then Amy Coney Barrett was nominated to the Supreme Court October 27th. The Senate voted to confirm her nomination to the Supreme Court. All but one member of the Republican Party voting in favor. All Democrats voted against. Too bad. She's in. Yeah. Uh, Joe Biden become president-elect. Who cares? We all were like, we'll settle for Biden. Yeah. It should have been Bernie, man. It should have been Bernie. DNC, the DNC is corrupt. Everything is corrupt. Guess who died next? <laughs> November 8th, Alex Trebek. God damn uh, it. God damn it. <laughs> Following we are still dealing with these new wannabe hosts. hosts. Yeah, but you know what? I think it's fun to mix it up. I mean, we miss him forever. Let's just have a new host every two weeks. Is that like what they're doing? Years. I don't know, but like that this would be one, fun. This guy that they've got in there now, he's all right. Mike Richards. That's his Is name? That his name? Mm, I don't know. Who knows? I liked Ken Jennings. I, I liked know. Ken Jennings too, but I don't think Ken Jennings wanted to be. I think he did. Ex- you do. I think he. I think he wanted it too much, and he was too like overly excited, like while he was like <laughs> doing the job. I thought and he that, was so great. I, but yeah, but he was. He talked too fast, and he has like. And he's not an entertainer. He's just a smart guy. Okay, but here's the he, thing about he has Ken like Jennings: zero charisma. He's like a weirdo. Okay, I disagree. I love Ken Jennings. And I think Mike Richards is doing a fine job, but <laughs> I don't believe that Mike Richards knows the answers. The answers. And I believe that Ken knows. No, and I believe Ken that knows. Alex knew. And yeah. that's what I liked about Alex, too. Is like, he would be like, no, 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 that's the Louvre. Yeah, <laughs> and you'll say it properly or whatever. Yeah, Mike Jenkins. Is that his name? I have no idea. They should cancel f- that terrible new show keenan and have keenan do it yes yeah yeah it would be a great jeopardy host because i love him on black jeopardy on snl true so funny. keenan would be great yeah and keenan knows how to stay at a show for a long fucking time right, exactly <laughs> we'd be with keenan until Forever. he died yeah i want to be with him until yeah, he died exactly and i won't be with that show new that new show keenan <laughs> yeah no that show i think is gonna get canceled pretty quick that show is very bad. Don't mark my words, but it's, I don't Shout think out to Keenan. Shout out Keenan. We love you and we hate your show. COVID vaccine rollout. 
December 14th. Ooh, Moderna and Pfizer. They, they'd be that, releasing. They rolled that out in December? I guess it started rolling out then. Damn, what is it now, March? Yeah. <sighs> I know. Time is so strange recently. Takes a while to get that out, I suppose. My e- parents are only just now getting their yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah. Next week. Yeah. We might rent a little red convertible for Jane so she can go get her second she's shot She's getting in her it. second shot on, on her, her 70th birthday. birthday. And she's always wanted a red convertible, but my dad won't let her have one because they're not safe. They're not safe. So... We thought it would be fun for her to to rent her a little red convertible that she can drive to go get her second shot and cruise around. So we're waiting for weather and all that good stuff. Yeah. Then Trump supporters attempt to stage a coup at the U.S. Capitol January 6th. (gasps) It was crazy. It was it was pretty crazy Um, and suspicious and suspicious. Why did they let them in? Yeah, the whole (laughs) thing. It was a crazy day. Then Facebook and Instagram banned Trump for at least two weeks on January 7th. Still banned. Twitter suspends Trump January 7th. And Biden win was certified by Congress January 7th. And that is all that I have in Robin's list right now. Let me see if she's updated it since. I guess that's it. Well, yeah, then there was then there was my epic orgasm drought of 2021 when I just couldn't come for like two weeks. Yeah. Um, and then last night we had or was that this morning? This morning. That was this morning. Mm hmm. Well, last week we had, like, a pretty good bang. Yeah. But this morning, we also had a pretty good bang. <laughs> yeah. And you were like, oh, get your toy or whatever. But my toys that I have been using have not been working so well. Well, though you put a li- those toys have been putting in overtime for o- a I year. Know. A pandemic's yeah. worth yeah. Of, of masturbation. Totally. Yeah. Um, but luckily I had that great new delivery from Satisfier mm-hmm. to the geriatric people's house. Got like <laughs> 72 sex toys to the 72 year old's house and Ben was like, we were like banging from behind and he was like put your toy on. And I was like, nah, it's not going to work. But then I was like, I have this brand new box. Why don't I try something else? And I grabbed this new satisfier something. The suction hole is bigger and stronger. <laughs> and it worked. Hooray. Did you feel that it worked? Yeah. The, the and, and yeah. And the bed sheets too. Something happened to them again? What? Yeah, they were wet. Okay, I, they weren't. Yeah, huh? That was great this morning. Not like oh, not like last week or the whatever yeah. time before, but yeah, oh, it was oh. real wet. Oh, <laughs> do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> yeah. So congratulations to me. I found a new toy that I like. I had an orgasm with Ben's peener in me. What else? What else has happened? We have lived together. Right. We've lived together. And We've gone crabbing. I'm pretty good at crabbing now. Yeah, what else? Oh, we went away for a week and we shot a whole cooking show for you guys. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to. It's called How Cook. And I can't wait till the editors get their hands yeah, on it. Yeah, those editors, they've been putting. They've been busy. Putting things off. No, but not putting things off. We'll remind them. Um, but, yeah, we make, like. We do six episodes, and yep. it's going to be coming to patreon.com slash outcome at some point in the next month, hopefully. Yeah. Um, at least one episode, I would hope. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Ben teaches me how to cook because I'm incapable, but now... She's capable. She just don't... You didn't You didn't have any of like those small... I didn't small have the basic tools. The basics, the basics. And any of the hurdles, like chopping onions, I would just be like, giving up. Right. No, no. We solved it. Oh, Yeah. What else have we done? I'm trying to think. Um, recently, we had our first Christmas together. Yeah, that was so cute. Oh my god! Ray and went viral. Ray went viral on TikTok. Also at Christmas, um, Ben like had seen those turtlenecks with s- with just sleeves. You know those sweaters that like like it looks it's like it looks like this. I'm wearing one right now. It's just <laughs> sleeves. But they have turtlenecks, and they were very, very trendy in December this year. And I wanted one, and Ben 
put a picture of it on the tree and was like, I owe you one turtleneck with sleeves. Yeah. And this week, I finally found the perfect sleeved, just sleeves. Just sleeves. You guys, if you have fat arms and you hate them and your torso keeps itself warm, but your arms would prefer to be covered, buy these motherfucking sleeves, okay? You go to Zara. <laughs> You get your sleeves, and then you can wear anything with it. You can wear is a T-shirt, Zara? Zara. You could wear a bra with sleeves. You could wear a bathing suit. A bathing suit with sleeves. Actually, my Instagram is suggesting me a ton of bathing suits with sleeves now. That's that's right up your and alley. And that's right up my alley for me. So, yeah. twenty twenty one, sleeves. Sleeves. What else did we do this year? Gotten a. Uh, we got in a few car got accidents. Got in a few car accidents. <laughs> <laughs> got a car broken into. Um, yep. What else did we? Ha- what else happened? Like nothing's fucking happened. We're not. Be- we haven't been doing anything. I mean, last week we went and visited. This week we went and visited our friend Taylor Tomlinson. She was in town doing 19 shows at Helium. We didn't go oh, watch yeah. the shows, but Hilarious we went to say. Hilarious comment, Taylor Tomlinson. Yeah, that she she's been on the podcast. Yeah, that's right. Um, we went to say hi to her and test out if we can still be social and it was a good little test we were social it was fun yeah that was the first time we'd been back in helium comedy club in an exactly a year exactly a year yeah um what else is what else has gone down i mean megan and harry's interview let's talk about it it happened yeah i mean it wasn't shocking to me at all that interview that the royals are racist no like yeah it's like I, f- I forget who said it, but I was like, "How did she not?" No, it was it was John Oliver who said it uh-huh. on uh, Colbert when they first got married during the royal wedding. Mm-hmm. Um, Colbert <laughs> asked John Oliver what he thought um, about it, and he just said that I hope she knows th- what she's marrying into. Yeah, and she has to know what she's marrying into. There's no like you. Yeah, don't, it's not. Uh, it's like it's not like you don't know that you, she wouldn't be protected. That you wouldn't be. That you were going into a. a a a family that does not have your interests Best interest at heart. your interests at, at heart mm. especially if you're not going to play ball but she was no she not was really so she's good already at the been job. she's uh, yeah she's already yeah but she's good at the job the same way princess diana was good at the job and the royal family fucking hated diana they don't like out they don't like it doesn't matter what they say they don't like an outspoken um they don't they, they don't Commoner. want yeah they don't want they don't yeah Woman. exactly they don't want any yeah I don't, I don't know but the interview itself i didn't i thought it was just fluff it was it was fluff i mean so yeah to me to me like when i was expecting like i don't know what i was expecting but like you, you know you see like r- these crazy from the tweets you would have thought that oprah had like had some had some really juice. blown some shit yeah, open. Some like tea, I mean, the yeah. the most tea thing was like that they stayed with Tyler Perry for a while because like right. they didn't have <laughs> their own security. And I was like, okay, yes, Tyler Perry yeah. in this story somehow. That's amazing. Um, but yeah. but like yeah, I I didn't understand what Harry meant by like, oh, my mom left me this money because she had a feeling like what she had a feeling what that like. You would want to leave the crown eventually. I think what she was saying, what yeah, what he was saying in that sense was that that Princess Diana, his mother, w- was also married into the family and knew what it was like being controlled by yeah by the by. But the that's crown. what he meant then that that he, she knew that he would want to leave at, not, and not, not be controlled. Yes, that he, she wanted she wanted her children to have the out that she did not have. Mm-hmm. So if you set aside $10 million that the crown doesn't have a control over, then sh- she felt that they could use that money to to leave if need mm-hmm. be. Yeah. I mean, I definitely I believe that those things happened. But I also am like it was a very produced like, of course, it's produced. It's Oprah. Yeah, you know, but oh like, god, the whole it was uh, the just whole like, interview was like tra- the cameras were like panning the ca- around. The fact that the cameras it was like were chopped up the, so much. Yeah, the cameras the were the cameras where the people where it's clearly a cameraman uh-huh. walking and and walking and making getting the moving shots. 
Yeah. Like that in itself, I was like, this is not a personal interview. This right. Is like Those are the points where I'm like, OK, well, if you don't want people to think you're acting. Yeah. Like do something a little more raw. Maybe right. I know nobody wins either way, but like. I don't know. Yeah. It was like. It's all, it's very terrible, but it's like, like when they, you're. They're a big evil family. Like, yeah. are we forgetting that Harry dressed up as a Nazi a few years right. ago? Like, I know he apologized for it, but like, are you surprised that they asked about the baby's skin color when he was that under a rock that he thought dressing up was a Nazi was, was okay? Yeah. What, like 15 years ago? Right. And like, he got off scot-free on that interview. Like, I just wish we had had more of a conversation about his own growth or whatever and his own realizations mm. because he seemed to get off yeah it's, it was more easy about her. because he was yeah. like married to a, yeah. a half black woman right 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 yeah where it's like more like no harry tell us what's really up and yeah. that was the other thing he would like if it was a g- supposed to be this big bombshell interview that which is why i still felt it was fluffy uh-huh. was that they'd be like oh this person said something and she'd go well could you tell us who that is and i'm not going to say who that is i mean but do you he know what did I mean? name it's names. He said, my dad doesn't take my calls anymore. Right. Um, but they don't want to like this still is their family. Like you would never want to like like I've had to change certain jokes from like my blank to like a family friend. Right. 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 Because <laughs> um, like they're family. But like they are a big evil family. I don't think Megan is an evil liar at all. I know that people are like saying that about her. Um, I do, th- I know that she's been doing activism for a really long time, which is great, but like, yeah, you do have to be s- okay with a certain amount of shit. Yeah. Like if you're marrying into like, I don't know, she, you, you weren't, ma- you, you had to have known who you were marrying. Otherwise you're not. You, then you're or not ready to if be, Harry then you're is not really that different, if it was like, yeah, Harry yeah, and I had exactly, had these conversations right. about his growth yeah, with racism and anti-Semitism. He had given me the heads up before I yeah. married into the family yeah. that this might be something that comes in. I just don't see how she or they could have been so blindsided by all of this the, stuff. The blindsiding thing sounded like the protection. Right. That they were like removing protection right. from the children. And I also read that it's something like they're not technically grandchildren of a king yet, so they don't get it. There is like some Brit. If if I have UK companions that like are on the side of like they shouldn't get protection, like please explain it to me, um, because I know that there is like a lineage thing. There's something with like Eugenie and the other one that their kids have protection or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, but. As far as the interview goes, I didn't think the interview really said a lot. I think it was very, li- like you said, very produced. It was very produced. Very, like, And, like, of course, like you ask your subject or, like, your guests, like, what they're comfortable talking about. Mm-hmm. But it just felt like, like they had, like, really talked about. You know, like, yeah. I didn't think Oprah was, like shocking either of them with any questions no 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 it was it was a controlled like yeah it was a controlled interview controlled little fluff piece it wasn't some r kelly interview <laughs> you know what i mean where like no. they're calling him out oh on all God. of his shit and like he's yeah. crying and yeah shit. yeah yeah no that's a gale interview an yeah. oprah interview yeah <laughs> exactly <different>. for real <laughs> exactly shout out gale shout out gale um Oh, yeah. That Gale, was is, what, the, was that Gale is the example of nepotism going correctly. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't know what nepotism is. Nepotism's <laughs> when you get hired because you're in somebody's family or you're friends with them or whatever. Uh, it's like Gail was just Oprah's best friend, and we were like, wait, make her a news anchor. <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was yesterday, and I wish Megan and Harry a yeah. very happy, safe life. Mm hmm. Um, I hope everyone signs up for their Patreon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's at the end of the interview. Oprah was like, "Well, yeah, no." Oprah was like, "We obviously shot a lot more than we get, were able to show you, mm-hmm. and so there's a lot of extras." It was like <laughs> go to, to my del- Patreon to direct to something <laughs> else. She's like, "Yeah, go to my Patreon, uh, patreoncom backslash Oprah." Yeah. Um, um, one of my friends just said, "Did I just see you on an episode of Thirty Rock?" Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yes, you did. Season five, episode eight. It's called College. My hair is piss colored. <laughs> it's a bad s- dye job. That's yeah. for sure. It looks like when I got my hands on some sun in when I was in sixth grade. Yeah. Or when you dyed your hair. Um, for the show. For, the for show. MTV. 
when I was pregnant. Oh. Whoa. Congratulations to us for not going through with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, mm -hmm. is there anything else that we did this year that is noteworthy? Noteworthy. <laughs> we watched all of Cobra Kai. Yeah, where well they know. <laughs> 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 well, I think we're caught up. Sure, there's some other things, but w we couldn't fit them all in, so mm. you can go to our Patreon. Go to our Patreon, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, we might be heading back to New York, New Jersey yeah. at the end of the end month. End of the month, you know, uh, everything's starting to look okay. People are getting vaccinated. Um, numbers are going down. Um, I'm, w I'm hoping this is the light at the end of the tunnel, but mm -hmm. you know, everything's still up in the air. Yeah. So the plan is currently to return east at the end of the month, but you never, you never know. Maybe do some virtual shows from home, not get too crazy. Not get too crazy Just with the see clubs. see if we can still see adjust. What happens. Yeah. yeah. Grace is going to be moving in with us. Mm -hmm. There's going to be two cats upstairs. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to, and that's the updates from us. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, you guys. Episode six, you might be like, why, why episode six for a congrats? Because A, it's our anniversary, and B, season one, my ultimate congratulations was episode six. Oh, is this episode six of it season is. four? Oh, it makes is. sense. It is. It is. <laughs> it is. And um, I have also updated season one, episode six, to include more air pulse arousers um, besides the ones that we talked about them then. So if you guys want to go listen to that episode, do so. But yeah, congratulations to you for making me squirt manually. Yeah, that was tight. Congratulations to me for coming out as bi and with new pronouns. Yes, congratulations, Remy. Good stuff all around. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh yeah. We love you guys. Thanks for being here all Yay. year with us. Could not have done this podcast Without you, companions, and you, my Ben. I love you too, my Remy. And I could not have got through this year without you. Oh. And I love the companions too. And they love you. <laughs> Allegedly. <assume>. Except <laughs> your beatboxing. <laughs> yeah, right. Don't do it. All right. <laughs> uh, goodbye, everyone. Toodaloo. Toodal oh, Ben, did you finish? Yes, I did finish. Did you finish? Yeah, I did. Thank you for asking me, cute, cute. Mm. Little tiny. Little tiny. Mm. <laughs> oh, shout out to the cutest couple on the internet. <laughs> uh, bye, guys. Thanks Peace. for being here. It's not you, it's me. I try so hard to finish, honestly. They say you'll know. When you go all the way from A right down to O. Oh no, I think that I still got a ways to go. Oh, oh, I'm sick of this and I have got to know. How come? How come? How come I can't achieve? How come I can't achieve? I'm rolling up my sleeves. I'm rolling up my sleeves. Oh baby, I believe these guests can help. Cause I can't do it by myself I wanna jizz Testing, testing One, two, three It's me mm. Pooping on the dilly Poopa dilly, poopa dilly <laughs> nope. Nope. Been on Kiss my ass. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs>